And the moment that I sat down, I felt like I made a mistake to show up and grace somebody with my presence who has treated me so bad and evil and just disregard for me like I was trash. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a great day and I'm switching it up a little bit. I've been so into 90 Day Fiance and one of my favorites, The Family Chantel. Last night was the season premiere of The Family Chantel and oh my gosh, it's already been a mess express. For those of you who haven't been caught up on what's been going on between Chantel and her ex, Pedro, I recommend you watching the past two seasons to see what led to their nasty divorce. Now that they are divorced, the 90 Day Fiance stars are deciding to settle out of court when it comes to their assets. Unfortunately, what comes with that is just nastiness. So Pedro and Chantel had to meet up together, but fortunately, they didn't bring anything else into their relationship like kids or pets, anything else that they had to split that would make it even more complicated. So from the start of their relationship on 90 Day Fiance, I just knew there was something very wrong with them as a couple. They both had crazy families. However, I think Pedro's family had a much bigger influence on him and a much bigger picture as to how they wanted things to end between him and his then wife. He listened to everything his family would say about Chantel that wasn't in the best light. After their marriage was in 2016, Pedro and Chantel argued over their finances as he always wanted to send money back home to his family, but Chantel wasn't with that. But despite their differences throughout the years, Pedro and Chantel continued to work out their differences and they even bought a house together for $290,000. Their divorce agreement was everything gets split down the middle, which they met up to a realtor's office. They have not seen each other in about nine months. And the realtor states that their house would actually be listed for $450,000, which would be a good profit for the both of them. So furniture and everything in the house would belong to Chantel. Honestly, I feel like that's too generous for Pedro, in my opinion, because Chantel actually supported Pedro for years, a few years, and she even worked two jobs, went to school, and, you know, unfortunately, he did nothing. So I feel like Chantel went into the marriage really in it for love. She had this big picture. She had this plan on how things were going to work between the two of them. I'm not saying Chantel is perfect because I've seen her at fault sometimes. However, she did try to make Pedro happy from what I saw. It wasn't enough for him. Pedro went into the marriage with a goal, in my opinion, and that was for his K-1 visa. He used Chantel, and now the truth is going to come out. It's going to come to a head. We're going to see it. Next episode is going to be more intense, more explosive. So please stay tuned for more. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Bye for now.